Okay, so I'm going to do some practice with you guys over Bohr models. The first thing you need to have out is your periodic table because you need to reference that to find the atomic mass and atomic number for each element. So let's go ahead and start with our first one. And so for this example, we are going to start with number 24, okay? So for this first example, we are starting with number 24. So what I'm going to do is grab a piece of paper and we are going to go through how to draw the Bohr model for number 24. So here we go. I've got my paper. Just like always, I need to start first by writing my equation. So I know it's A equals P equals E, ape, man, M minus A equals N. Now I'm using element 24. So just like how I do on the computer, I'm going to draw it out for you guys. In this case, CR 51.996. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the periodic table. So now I can go and fill in my numbers. So my first one is A, the atomic number. A comes first, my first number is 24. I know that A equals P equals E. So, I know that P is 24 and so is E. So I have my protons and my electrons. Now I can move on to find the number of neutrons. Atomic mass, M comes after A, so it's the bottom number, and I need to round 51.9 rounds up to 52. So 52 minus A, the same A is over here, which is 24 equals, I'm going to grab a calculator to double check my work, which leaves us with 28 neutrons, okay? Now I can actually work on drawing the model. So I'm gonna start here. Remember that we start first with our nucleus. So I'm going to draw my nucleus. Okay. I need to start first with my protons, my p -p positive protons, and I have 24. Okay. For this example, I'm not going to draw 24 circles. I'm just going to do like we did together and put P, which are positive, and I have 24 of those. Now, inside my nucleus is also my neutrons. So I have 28. Remember your neutrons are neutral, they have no charge. So now I've got my nucleus done. So I can check off my protons and my neutrons. I need to go back in and do my electrons. Now, remember that we start with the inner ring. So I'm going to draw my inside ring first. And the inside ring can only hold two electrons. So I'm going to draw my two negative electrons, okay? I both have 24, I've done two of them. It means I have 22 electrons left to do, meaning I need another ring. I'm gonna add my second ring. Remember this ring can hold up to eight, so I'm going to add eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's keep track of how many left I need. I know here, if I have eight, what is that, 14? I need 14 electrons that I still need to do. So, I need another ring. I'm gonna add my next ring. And 14. And remember, this outer ring can hold up to 18. So 14 will fit perfectly. Let's add them in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have my 14, meaning I have zero left to do. I can check off electrons. This is my Bohr model for element number 24. Let's do another one. So I'm gonna flip my page. So I have space to write. Now let's 
let's do another one. In this example, let's do phosphorus number 15. So I know you guys like to see it, so I'll draw it out for you. This is what 15 looks like on the periodic table. Wonderful. Now I get to start, as always, with my equations. So I have A equals P equals E man, M minus A equals N. Now I can fill in my numbers. The atomic number comes first. The first number is 15. Meaning my protons and my electrons are all going to be 15. Now I can move over to this side. Atomic mass is the bottom number. 30.97 rounds up to 31. 31 minus A is 15. That leaves us with 16 neutrons. Okay? From here, I get to start drawing my Bohr model. So like always, I'm going to start with my nucleus. Okay, inside the nucleus are my p -p positive protons. So my P is positive, I need 15. Check. Next in the nucleus is your neutral neutrons. So neutron, it's neutral, 16. Check. Now I can go through my electrons. So first things first, I need a ring. Remember, the inside ring can only hold two electrons. One, two. But I have 15 total, meaning I still have 13 electrons to do. So I need another ring. So now I know the middle ring can hold eight. So let's add eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Let's see if I, oh, I still need five more electrons, meaning I need another ring. I have five more. I know the outside ring can hold 18, so I will perfectly fit my five. Two, three, four, five. Here is my Bohr model. Now, what I want you to notice, remember, your outside electrons get a special name. So my outside electrons are the ones on this outside ring. These are my valence electrons because they are your outside electrons, okay? They are on the outside of the atom. They are your valence electrons.